Good evening, and welcome to another one of my versions of A Verse a Day Keeps Islam Away. Um, up until today, I was going to be playing nice and only use the Quran in my little verses. However, from now on, I'm going to mix things up and spice things up and start using a little bit of al hadiths. Now, if you're not aware of the hadiths, they are narrations, sayings that were uh, written down. The, uh, which the Prophet Muhammad and his entourage and concubines were to have said. Some of the more prominent ones are Sahih al-Bukhari, who was an Imam, and I think was born around 870 AD, and Sahih uh, al-Muslim ibn al-Hajjaj, who was born or wrote his hadith during the time of 875 AD. All right, shall we begin? <coughs> First, I'm going to read out of Sahih al-Bukhari, Volume 2, Book 21, Narration Number 4, <clears throat> Number 245. And by the way, today's theme is going to be about demons, al-Shaytan, al-Jinn, al-Afrid, al-Iblis, whatever you want to call him, or, the, or them. A person slept and missed the morning prayer. So the Prophet said, Satan urinated in his ear. Now, to me, this is more like a joke than even a narration. I don't even know why he would even say that. But moving on. Al-Bukhari, Volume 4, Book 54, Narration Number 494. Allah's Apostle said, When the upper edge of the sun appears in the morning, do not perform prayer until it has risen. When the lower edge of the sun sets, do not perform prayer until it has set. For you see, the sun rises between two sides of Satan's head. Moving on, Sahih al-Bukhari, Volume 5, Book 58, Narration Number 199. Who informed you, O Prophet of God, about the jinn when they heard the Qur'an? He said, A tree informed me about them. Sahih al-Bukhari, Volume 6, Book 60, Narration Number 332. The Prophet said, Last night, a demon from the jinn came to me to disturb my prayer. But Allah gave me the power to overcome him. I intended to tie him down to one of the pillars of the mosque till the morning so that all of you could see him. Yeah. Moving on, Sahih al-Bukhari, Volume 4, Book 54, Narration Number 516. The Prophet said, if anyone rouses from sleep and performs ebullition, al-tawaddi, he should wash his nose by putting water in it and then blow out three times, since Satan has stayed in the upper part of his nose all night. That tends to happen when you do cocaine as well, Muhammad. Moving on, Sahih al-Bukhari, Volume 4, Book 54, Narration Number 509. The Prophet said, <sighs> Excuse me. Yawning is from Satan, and if any one of you yawns, he should check his yawning as much as possible. For if any one of you during the act of yawning should say, Ha! Ah, Satan will laugh at him. Moving on, Sahih al-Bukhari, Volume 4, Book 54, Narration Number 513. Allah's Apostle said, A good dream is from Allah. A bad dream is from a shaitan. So if any one of you has had a bad dream and is afraid, he should spit on his left side. For then it will not harm him. Moving on. <clears throat> Sahih al-Muslim. Collection number 14, book 39, narration number 6757. Allah's Messenger said, There is none amongst you with whom is not an attached from the jinn. The companions then said, Allah's Messenger, is there a devil with you too? Thereupon he said, Yes, but Allah helps me against him. So I am saved from his hand, and he does not command me, but for good. I'm actually going to analyze this real quick. So, not only does Muhammad here admit to having a jinn, a de demon, a shaitan, attached to him, 
But no, no, no. He now has power over him, and he also admits that the djinn commands him, but only for good. Only question is, if the demons are telling you what to do, how do you know they're telling you what to do is good or not? Damn voices in your head. Finally, moving on to Sahih al-Muslim. Collection number 14, book 39, narration number 6,759. Aisha, the wife of Allah's Apostle, reported. Like Allah's Messenger, like left my apartment during the night, then he came and he saw me with an alienated state and he said, Aisha, what has happened to you? Do you feel jealous? And like I said, how can it be that a girl like me would not feel jealous in regards to a husband like you? Thereupon, Allah's Messenger said, It is your devil who has come to you. And like I said, Allah's Messenger, is there a devil with me? And he said, Yes. Allah's Messenger, and then she said, Allah's Messenger, is there a devil attached to you too? And he said, Yes. Those are the words of Muhammad himself, the Prophet of Allah. Therefore, boys and girls, and in between, there is a demon, a shaitan, a jinn attached to every one of us. However, it is in your hands to listen to Allah and control those demons and make them command you to do good and not do evil. Thank you. And these are the words of Allah and the Prophet thereof. Today's segment has been brought to you by Risperidone, an atypical antipsychotic used for the treatment of adult and adolescent schizophrenia, a disease that affects up to 0.6% of the world's population. In addition to the treatment of both states, the manic and depressive of bipolar disorder, as well as managing the violence exhibited by people with uh, autism. All of these symptoms were exhibited by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Risperidone. FDA approved since 1993.